you. Let's move a little bit to uh, words uh, domestic politics, and I think these are all uh, uh, dovetailing. And, and I will start with, with the um, uh, current government, both sides, the, the legislature and the, uh, the, the executive. The, uh, but before that, looking at the setup of, of the stage in Iraq, uh, the last election um, witnessed a departure from the old tripartite political uh, system where um, ethno-sectarian groups have uh, worked uh, within their own groups to come to Baghdad and or go to Baghdad and work uh, as ethno-sectarian groups. Right. Uh, we have now uh, two coalitions. Each one of them has a mix of all of the ethno-sectarian uh, backgrounds and uh, it seems that it altered the politics in Baghdad a little bit uh, when it comes to government formation. Uh, the workings of the parliament right. that you will tell us you are inside the parliament better than I can ever know. Um, so two questions on that. Are we closer to seeing a, an arrangement where we would have a government and an opposition, uh, especially that at least one uh, uh, block in Iraq, right. Al-Hikma, uh, announced that it is becoming a coalition uh, that is in the opposition and then inviting others to join. Right. Uh, is that likely to be a durable uh, situation? Uh, and also, uh, how is it working now that you have two major blocks uh, that are not pushing for uh, specific uh, geographic or even ethno-sectarian groups? Uh, how is the bar parliament different? I know you, this is your first right. uh, um, uh, term in parliament, but you've been watching well, parliament right. very well and you, you know it better. Right. So if you can just describe that for us. Uh, okay. Well, but as you mentioned, just for others who may not follow details uh, uh, or past terms in Baghdad, the, 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 the past uh, three terms of parliament in Iraq has been shaped by big blocks of ethnic groups and th sectarian groups. We had the uh, Kurdistan Alliance group, which was uh, uh, all of the Kurdish political parties, especially uh, the two big parties were part of it, united. And then we had the uh, Iraqi coalition, which was the, the sh uh, Shia groups were part of it, and then al Iraqiya, uh, which was the, the, the Sunnis. But that's, uh, uh, that's gone f in this term. I mean, we disappeared. They completely disappeared. There is no unified Kurdish alliance, which I really su fully support that. We don't need to be united as ethnic groups. We need to be united based on principles and values. I have more uh, in common with uh, Sairun, for example, than with KDP, which is uh, a, 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 a rival in Kurdistan. We uh, consider ourselves an opposition to, K to K Kurdistan regional government, uh, which is headed by KDP. Uh, so, and also the Shia also kind of divided. We have Sairun, there are, uh, you know, uh, Islamist, non-Islamist, uh, Shia, Sunni, everybody part of it, and also other blocks. Then you, we made that the two big blocks, Islah and Bina. So far, Islah and Bina, uh, two blocks are, you know, uh, they are trying to function as two united uh, blocks. They are functioning as two politically uh, working better than uh, in parliament. So outside of the parliament, the, the head of the political parties, they see these blocks as their you know, platform. I mean, that's a, a, a positive thing. However, inside parliament, everybody goes back to it as small groups. Each person, they have their own agenda, and it's not as united as you see uh, from, from far. Uh, because this is just new. I mean, we, have, we are not used to it. Uh, and it is more diverse uh, than before. It's not, they are not div divided based on ethnic and sectarian lines, uh, which is remarkable, and I hope that continue. Uh, but it is far from uh, it to be like a, we have the Republican and Democrat here, so like two se separate uh, groups. Uh, and uh, with regard to the opposition, I think one of the issues we had with Iraq's uh, democratic process is the lack of opposition uh, groups. And it is the idea of opposition publicly also to many people is really new in Iraq. When they think of opposition, and just a couple of days ago I saw an, an, an Iraqi-based, a US-based uh, Iraqi journalist in, in Washington, and he, was, uh, he asked me how 
Al Hikma become an opposition if they are in parliament. I said, yeah, this is this is where they can be an opposition. Yes. I think in you know, an opposition it means like the OB out of the country, uh, like before Ira Iraqi oppositions, and they are opposition to state is different than opposition to the cabinet. They mm -hmm. are opposition to the cabinet, not to the state. They are not against the state. Uh, so, but it is still since the, for people it's new, and also for Al Hikma themselves it's a new experience, and I hope they will succeed. But it will face some challenges because the government is not, uh, the, the prime minister and the government in general is not fully supported by one uh, certain group, like one group that is we had before, Dawlat uh, State of Law, Dawlat Qanun, or the Dawah Party. Uh, and so you don't know who is your basically opponent, who are you fighting. Uh, if you ask Al Hikmah, they will tell you they're not against Abdul Mahdi, maybe not completely against him but they have some issues with some certain policy in the government. So it's going to be challenging for, to form a truly an opposition group that can function and can hold government accountable. But we have an opposition parliament in, in general. Yeah. Nobody is saying that, the gov the, uh, nobody is taking responsibility for the government. Nobody is taking the, you know, the burden of the government failures when it comes to some certain issues. Because this government, we have more non-sectarian, non-politicians non uh, in the government, in the cabinet. We have more technocrats, people coming abroad uh, and coming from outside of the political parties, less political parties, uh, head of the political parties or political figures in the cabinet. So it is not seen, it's difficult to target, for example, Minister uh, Khatib, el electricity, so which political party he belongs to, it is not very clear. Uh, or the other uh, uh, ministries also. So, it, it, but the, the the entire parliament can uh, hold uh, government uh, accountable, which we did a couple times. We held hearings, and there is no government officials, including the prime minister, who is saying no when he is uh, uh, asked to come to parliament uh, for hearing or even to hold him accountable. That That's takes me to to 